All right. So I kept seeing this post on my Twitter feed about a new AI agent for front-end development called Compai and it has got like millions of views already. At first I thought, yeah, yet another Figma to code tool. But then I took a closer look and all the examples that they showed way more complex than what most wipe coding tools can handle today. Plus it works inside of your ID like cursor or VS code and that instantly got my attention. And no, I have used multiple wipe coding tools out there and don't get me wrong, they're really great for quick prototyping. But they always break down when it comes to building real front-end apps and they don't integrate nicely with Cursor AI. So naturally, I had to try Compy myself and let me tell this to you, this tool didn't disappoint me. I have tested a bunch of Figma to code tools over the years and nothing comes close to Compy. It gave me a pixel-perfect front-end code for a Figma file, not just close, identical down to the last pixel. And now, Compy isn't just a code generator. It is context aware, trained on 30 plus front end libraries, and use custom RAG layers so it understands your stack better than generic AI agents. And the best part? It can deeply integrate with your code base. It can read your file structure, reuse your components, understand your styling setup, and even auto fix TypeScript and runtime errors. Basically, it feels like having a senior front end dev pair programming with you 24 7. And now, without wasting any more time, let me quickly jump onto my computer screen and show you Compy in action. So, this right here is the official website of Compy. And as you can see, it says the AI agent built for front-end development. And now if you do want to get started with using Compy, the first thing that you got to do is to click the first link in the description below and head over to their official website. And the best part is that you can easily add and set up Compy into your existing ID. For example, let's say VS Code, Cursor or Windsurf in just a single click. So in the homepage itself, you can find a install Compy button and you just click on this button and select your ID. For example, let's say in this case, Cursor. So I can simply click on the same and now it will open up a pop-up something like this and click on open cursor and now that should open this extensions page where you can easily go ahead and install Compy to your ID. And now in this case, I have already done the same. So in basically installed it and at first you will be asked to log in with your Compy account. So click on the login button and authorize and the installation part is complete. It is as easy as that. And now it says generic AI struggle with complex front-end tasks, but with specialized context engine and tooling, Compy delivers unmatched fidelity, code quality, and dev velocity. And now the interesting part about Compy is that it nearly supports almost all the frameworks and UI libraries out there. For example, here we have Vite, Next.js, Material UI, Tanstack, Chakra UI, Emotion, ShadCN. It supports majority of them. And now there are three different ways you can actually build something using Compy. So the first one is that you can go ahead and give a simple text prompt and convert it into code or let's say front-end UI or you can even give a Figma file or a image and ask the AI to convert it into design as well. And now if you want to find more information about Compy, you can go through their website and find more information. And now after setting up Compy and when you open it up for the first time, this is going to be the kind of screen that you will see. And now it says welcome to Compy, an intelligent coding agent built specifically for front-end tasks. And now you can find an input box in here. And now all you got to do is to give a prompt or add a Figma link or let's say attach an image and you can click on the send message button right here and now Compy will go ahead and create a plan and then code the entire front-end UI for you. And now I'll quickly show you a project that I've been working on. So here I already have the dev server running so I'll quickly open it up. And now this right here is a project that I've been working on and the UI that you see on the screen right now is created entirely using Compy just by giving a simple Figma design file. And now, okay, let me open it up. So this right here is the Figma file that I give to the AI. So as you can see, this is how the UI looks like. And we have all these individual elements in here. And now what I did is I just went ahead and let's say copied the link like this. I can click on copy as and click on this option that is copied link to selection. So I just copied it and then opened Compy. And then I clicked on this Figma link option and pasted the Figma URL and I asked it to create a dashboard similar to this one, all right? And what Compy built is this one right here. And as you can see, it is actually a pixel perfect clone of this uh, Figma design right here. And now it is fully functional as well. So I can disable the card, activate it, add a payment, a pop-up appears. I can add some numbers in here, maybe received, select a card, add it. Pretty much everything works, okay? So here we have an option to move the cards. We have an input form, a button, and all of that is working. And we even have a settings page. And then we have a payments page in here and also a cards page in here. And all of this was actually created by giving simple prompts to Compy based on this Figma file right here. And now what I did is I just copied the link and pasted the same in here. And I asked the AI to code the same. And it went through a planning phase and then it has found all the section to use the features and everything else. And after that, it just went ahead and created the entire UI you see in here.
okay so basically the ai converted this figma design into a ui that you see on the screen right now and after generating the full ui i just went ahead and gave some follow-up prompts to sort of fix a few ui issues here and there like styling padding uh, you know margins and all that and this is the finished product and this is what you can see and the interesting thing about using compy is that it supports a wide variety of different text tags and ui libraries for example if i click on this text tag button right here I'm now able to choose the text tag that I want to use. So if I click on this pencil icon right here, I can edit the same. For example, the framework, I can select it from here, whether you want to use React or Next.js and you also have different versions in here and also JavaScript and TypeScript. And then you can select your choice for API and state management. And then we have the router, then we have the UI components. All of these are in here. So Shadzi and Chakra, uh, Hero UI, Daisy UI, MUI. So pretty much everything is in here. So based on the tech stack of your project, you can go ahead and configure the same. And the interesting part is that even if you're already working on a project, you can start using Compile with that too, right? And now here we have two modes that is ask mode and code mode. And now right now, this right here is the current state of our application. And next up, let's just say I want to add an analytics page to this project. For example, here we have an analytics button, but it is not functional for now. But if I open my Figma file here, I already have the screen set up. So this right here is the analytics screen. And now I'll show you how we can turn this into a fully functional code with a couple of clicks. So first thing that you'll have to do is to, I'll select the layer and I can simply right click and click on copy us and click on this option called as copy link to selection. And after that, I'll open Compile. And then I can click on this button that is add Figma link. And now if this is your first time, you will find an option to connect Compile to your Figma account. Just authorize and you should be good to go. And now I'll paste the URL in here. And now I can click on this confirm button right here. And now Compile will fetch the content of the Figma file. So let's wait for it. There you go. That is done. And now all I got to do is to give a simple prompt. So in this case, what I want to do is that right now this right here is our address or the site address. Basically, I want to add the analytics page in the slash analytics route. So what I'll do is create the analytics page at slash analytics route uh, based on the Figma design. I know this is all that I got to do. And now I can click on this send button right here. Okay. And now it says, hi there, we'll use the following text tag for your request. So right now I'm using React 19. So this is the text tag that I currently have. And now if you want to make any changes, you can click on this button right here and select your text tag. But in this case, I'll click on this proceed button. And now it says thinking. And now it is fetching the Figma design. And now after a couple of seconds, Compy went ahead and analyzed our entire code base and the prompt. And it has created a plan for us to review and approve. And as you can see here, we have an analytics dashboard, main analytics page with a sidebar navigation, analytics content, including spending metrics, charts, and budget comparison. And here we have all the features. And the interesting thing is that if you want to make any changes, you can click on this pencil icon and make the changes. And you can review the plan in here. So in this case, it actually looks good. And now what I'll do is I'll click on this approve plan and start coding option right here. And now Combi gets to work. It will now go ahead and turn this particular Figma page into code and add the same into our project at the slash analytics route. In which case, let's wait for Compi to complete coding the same. And now as you can see, Compi is creating all these files and then writing all the code. You don't have to do anything. You can sit back and relax and see the AI writing the code. And now depending on the kind of design and the number of files that it has to create, it will take some time. So you'll have to wait till it is done. So in which case, I'll wait and I'll see you afterwards. So there you go. It seems like it's done. So it says I've finished generating all the necessary files for the analytics page. And here's a summary of what was created. And now you can find complete details of all the individual files that was created. So here we have all these TS file, TSX, okay, components, spent metric card, then we have mock data for now, period toggle and everything else is in there. And here we have all the key features implemented, all right. And now it seems like Compi itself has found an issue and it is currently auto fixing the same. So you don't have to do anything. So it fixed the TypeScript error by simplifying the main layout props and correcting the chart legend properties. So the interesting thing is that after coding and let's say building the UI, Compile itself will analyze the code base to see if there is any error. And if it finds an error, it will automatically fix it for you. You don't have to do anything. All right. So pretty much everything is complete. And it says the generated code is in a sandbox. You can integrate the code and or save them in your workspace. You can also run the code in a sandbox. So if you don't want to apply all these changes to your project right away, but you want to see how it looks, you can actually click on this button right here called as run in sandbox. 
and now it will open up a development server and now you can visit this address right here to see a preview of the same or if you're happy with this you can click on this view and save option right here and now all you got to do is to select all these files so these are all the files that the ai has created and i'll select the same so after selecting the file all i got to do is to click on the save option right here and now all the changes that combi has made will be automatically applied to your project and now after saving it you can view a preview of the same so pretty much everything is done so i'll head back all right so let's now go ahead and visit and see if it works so there you go here we have the analytics page in the slash analytics route and if i refresh everything pretty much works and we also have that animation of everything coming into place as well and next up if you want to make any changes on top of this one you can use compile for doing so for example let me open the settings page and let's say i want to make some changes in here for example let's say okay in the account information section let's say i want to add one more edit field or let's say input field so right now we have full name, email address and all that. So next up, let's just say I want to add a username field. And for that, all I got to do is to open uh, Compy again. And this time around, I'll go ahead and say, can you add a username field in the uh, account information section of the settings page okay so this is the prompt i'll give and i'll hit enter and right now we are giving a basic and simple text prompt and let's see how it goes so there you go the ai has went ahead and made some changes and it now says the username field is now fully functional and follows the same design pattern as the other fields in the account information section so that's also one more cool thing so yep in which case i'll wait for it to complete the same and i'll show you the preview in a moment so there you go it is now complete and i can click on this view and save button and select all of these and i'll click on the save changes option and everything should be live so let's see and now when we visit our website we have a username field in here and if i click on this edit button the username field events follow the exact same styling as all other input fields in here and now i can input some data and click on save changes and there you go it says settings updated successfully and here we have it and now in a similar fashion you can go ahead and pinpoint and select each and every elements within the site and make targeted edits using compy as well so this is the flow of using compy and this is how simple it is so you basically visit the compy website add the same to vs code cursor or windsurf and then you can open it up give it a prompt a image or a figma file and you can ask compile to turn it into code and it should be done in less than a couple of minutes okay so that's how simple it is so if you do want to try compile just go ahead and click the first link in the description below head over to compile.com sign up for a new account and you can start using right away and now if you're curious about the pricing of compile as you can see they have a free plan plus plan pro plan and also a premium plan and the free plan gives you like 200 credits and along with that you also get 300 credits for a limited period so if you want to try it out you can also make use of the free plan and yeah that's pretty much it i hope you guys found this video useful if yes make sure to subscribe and i'll see you in the next one